Hello, everybody. And uh, my name is uh, Dr. Uh, Takahiro Saros, and I'm the uh, um, professor and a chairperson at the International Development Peace Through Sports Program at the University of Tsukuba. Um, today, I thank you to the, uh, um, to the International Organization for the Health and Sports Kinesiology Associations and um, for uh, inviting to me as a, like a, a guest speaker in this conference. And uh, I'm honored to and serve as a, a, um, that, a um, guest speaker to today. And today's, um, I'd like to present it about the, um, the uh, um, introduction of the Joint Master Program in the International Development to Peace Through Sports at the University of Tsukuba and the National Institute of Fitness and Sports in the Kanoya. Um, this one, and uh, actually that uh, um, we are in a joint master program with the uh, um, uh, University of Tsukuba and then also like the uh, um, National Institute of the, uh, um, Fitness and Sports in Kanoya. Um, actually, to the, please introduce like a little bit about the locations about the University of Tsukuba. Um, the University of Tsukuba is located at about like almost like a one hour away from uh, Narita Airport. And probably like a hundred airport, probably ninety minutes. Um, it's a, just like a weird kind of little bit server of that um, um, that are from the Tokyo. And uh, today it's like a, um, it was a great uh, opportunity, and then studied about like a, for the international development peace through sports program. And then so the another university. It's like a, for a National Institute of the Sports Fitness in Kanoya. Actually, that university located at like a down the south part of the Kyushu and in a Kagoshima. It's a Kagoshima is like a prefect, Kagoshima prefecture is a located is like near um, the Okinawa. And uh, so it was kind of much warmer than the uh, University of Tsukuba. So, um, but there it's like, a, we have to like a weird dual program and then um, joint program that uh, we offer that are international development to peace through sports program. Um, today, so I wanted to kind of a little bit introduce it about like uh, for um, that, uh, what kind of the, of the program it's like, uh, um, International Development Peace Through Sports Program is. And, and so I wanted to kind of a little bit about the overviews of that like the uh, mission statements and a little bit about the history, program study, curriculum, and then also faculty and what we do in the research and education and practical and experiences for the entire students. And it, it just kind of a little bit part of that our recruitment as well. So like, and I wanted to kind of a little bit and about like a little bit about the overview. So this pro graduate program is oriented towards like a study of the sports for the development piece through with the goal and objectives, culturally relevant strategies to meet the individual local nation's unique needs through the sports, ethical and moral behaviors in addition to the fairness, compassion and honesty and the responsibility. And actually, and we are, uh, our program is uh, working with like Japan to sports councils that are associations also. And then so like uh, they do it about like uh, uh, they contribute a lot of their practical experiences for our students, such as like uh, Olympic studies and Paralympics. Um, it's a, it's a weird, uh, actively working with the government, Japan's sports agency and sports for the tomorrow. And so like we are kind of really, really um, we are focused on to like for a larger uh, national and political um, politics in sports and physical activity. Then and we also follow that a UNESCO and a I, we call like the IDS, International Development Peace Through Sports Program. We, it's because the acronym and it's like a, we put it like the IDS and the United Nations and the focus on the health of the minister and a, um, for the that, uh, sports for the development and peace. Um, one of that, uh, uh, our students, it's doing uh, a lot of the work working with like uh, refugees associations, uh, refugees populations, and and so um, NGO to the NPO, uh, nonprofit uh, organizations as well. So uh, that's one of that uh, uh, reason to, uh, and we were working for that uh, uh, actively. So my question is like, uh, what is it a uh, 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 definition to the sports uh, sports for the development piece? Uh, sports for the development piece, 
it's like a, it's like known as the development of peace sports. Refers to the uh, intentional use in sports, the physical activity, playing and attain like a specific development of peace objectives, increasing the most notably meaning the development goals. So like a, it's a goal is our success is like a, to help the student to develop their skills and successfully and then um, navigate the unpredictable scenarios. So we, which is the example is like the, for the unpredictable scenario means that when they trying to contribute to that uh, um, for the, the in, for developing countries and for the as the interns. So um, when they go sometime like they they wanted to apply it and skill and the knowledge of what they learned like international development peace through sports program to that uh, that internship environment. Sometimes like it's that it doesn't work that way. So like they're trying to trying to adjust to to the cultural factors or maybe social factors that you know, it's not only about how to apply it, but how to think critically when they apply the knowledge and skills. So that's why kind of need we're training for that a little bit about the including the adjustment factors. So and then so then and then they start to do it like evaluate like each situation and conditions. And then through the communications, the way they communicate is that it could be like a little bit different. For example, like a Japan's like a collective culture, and in the other countries like individuals that are uh, domestic uh, individualistic cultures. So like uh, that's one that uh, it's a uh, communication that corrected the miscommunications, fixing the miscommunications, and then focus on the primary purpose of the uh, specific activity. That's what that are current part of the definitions for. So. So then our, our students is like a demonstrate applied knowledge in the international organizations. And we have that a lot of the internship. And then that's why that a part of that, uh, um, and I'm gonna explain a little bit about the later on. And then so all the graduate students understand the system, the practical implementation of the physical education in Japan, also like a providing support in the foreign countries. So we call it, and we have that like all that, uh, um, we have the whole variety of the information also. Um, actually, our program is also considered as the English medium instruction program. So all the content has to be taught in English. So um, that's why gonna, even like instruct, uh, even like Japanese professors they have to supposed to use the English and all the students that have to communicate in, in English and write in English and read in English and speak in English. And plus, they have to write down the master thesis project in English as well. So that's why our goal and objectives. So next one is like an English medium program in, in medium instruction program. In the 2014, um, like the uh, Ministry of Education and the Technology and the Science announced that a top global university project, which you call like the TGUH uh, UP with the aim of the enhancing the international competitiveness in the higher education institution in Japan, and then, then trying to increase like the number of the international students. So that's why, and then so, and then they see it's kind of a little bit wide that, that our, um, our majors have to try and train to like it for the students and the faculty members to add like a global global personnel. So that's what the kind of you know, our goal and objective is all about. And then like in a, um, English and medium EM, EMP, English medium program that can be defined as educational program to specialize the academic courses that are taught through the English and in sort of throughout the year. So like this is actually government, um, it, uh, it's a mix really focus on the encourage us to develop that, uh, um, that for the EMI that program, uh, EMP program. Um, however, uh, there is not so many to the program that we can offer in the English medium program in Japan yet. So uh, there is uh, several universities that kind of really looking at that, those kind of the area. However, um, there is a, it's very, very difficult to hire the faculty member who are in the expertise in speaking English and all that stuff. So like, that's one of the challenges. So uh, IDS, our program is founded in 2015. 
Uh, first one is an Asian country and a collaboration is like a, a Tsukuba International the Sports Academies and stuff, the TIAS, Athletic Sports Academies and stuff. That also another, we have the EMP program. So um, this is all together. And then so um, we have that like a University of Tsukuba has like an academic network. And then and I get, we also collaborate with the other countries and the faculty members. Um, right now, it's like a, for um, our one of the core courses and two or three courses, it's like a, we, uh, we invited the uh, guest lecture learns from the like, uh, um, uh, United Kingdom, um, University of Chester, for example. And so like we have the, like a very different um, Different institutions and who uh, who could brought, uh, who could bring that a global aspect in the sports and the physical activities. So like that's why I could, you know we have like the homeless in the world and then also we will collaborate with the NGO and also like in the India and the Kenya Cambodia and all, all that. So um, and also we provide a lot of that conference. And besides, like the four that are just not only that about the coursework, so students can engage to that through the presentations and then writing the research papers. Not only that, uh, they can collaborate. How do, uh, they collaborate with the NGO and the MPO and then other university faculty members involved? So, like we try to maximize their, their student pos potential uh, as much as possible through the different academic activities. That's one way we are trying to do it for that. So University of Tsukuba uh, and also like a uh, um, national sports and fitness in Kanuya and the Japan Sports Council, we all have the different expertise in the field, uh, academic field. So like the University of Tsukuba is like, we have the expertise in the sports history, sociology, and in the IDS, the sports in, uh, international development through the sports, sports for the development, and the physical education, teacher education, adaptive physical education, coaching training, and all that. So we have that all. And then also Kanoya, um, one of the National Institute of Fitness, also like a health management and sports management, all that stuff. And Japan Sports Council is like a just like, it's it's at a, a practical uh, internship based type of associations. So like a, it's more like a, um, a more like a service training and afford that a student in an internship. That's why we can really provide it. So these are the, all of the, our, our faculty members. Actually, we, there is a, quite a lot, and, but actually the, each one of faculty members has a different role and responsibility in the academic field. Um, it's kind of a little bit unique about it, but it's so important because we really, uh, we really focus on the SDGs and we, I, I think it's like a global trend that, and we, speak it in English and we write in English and we um, and we encourage the student to improve the like English competency throughout the program. So like these are like uh, for the faculty. We have like uh, um, pro, for example, like uh, myself and uh, Shinichi Nagata and then for the professors of the therapeutic recreation and then um, um, Estelle Kim and then we are, are the, the educated in the United States and we got the PhD doctor program and in, in the United States in order to South Korea. Um, uh, Dr. Kim is a graduate from the Boston College and she does like the uh, environmental health and the bio, uh, biostatistics and stuff. So that's kind of the part of that. And in myself, it's like I graduate from Ohio State. Chinichi Nagata is like a graduate from the Indiana University. So everybody has a different expertise and stuff too. Uh, Professor Yamaguchi is in, um, from that, uh, he was like expertise in that uh, uh, NGO to the MPO in Cambodia, Heart of Gold. And that was the NGO to the groups and he was has, has been working really long time. Um, so like uh, today it's like, uh, I wanted to kind of cover it a little bit more about that there are research portions and stuff too, okay? And then, so next slide is it about like a curriculum and the graduation criteria. So we have like, a, we are cons, uh, our program consists of that like from the maybe six different types of that are, that are core courses. So one to like the core courses, that mean uh, core courses, all the students have to take it, it's as a uh, part of the graduation requirement. Then apply courses, it could be the elective and all that, um, apply the courses, 
have to be the required also, but sometimes like it could be the elective. So it, it depends. So the lecture courses, it's a, a completely elective right now that at this moment, and then so that like a student can choose it in different, and then for the academic program that they can choose it. Um, we have that also like an on-campus seminar and then quite often. And then so once in a day, it's like a two years program. So like a student take it and then it's for, um, it started from the beginning and then beginning of the uh, um, Japan's like uh, academic year to the, from uh, April and then, uh, and then throughout the, and then until the March. So like we have their own campus seminar. Then we have the off campus seminars as well. And then practical and then job training. And then a student have to require to travel to like uh, for uh, 16 weeks. And in which is consists of the we use it, they use it as the six credit hours. And then so a student travel to um, the other countries. And I will explain more about like uh, what kind of that, uh, job on, uh, OJP project and then my, our students have done. So one that uh, uh, to be more specific is like the uh, core courses. Uh, one of that uh, most really important uh, is the circle one is like just a little required, it's a requirement. And so like a student have to take a research method, uh, IDS core courses as one, and the Olympic movement study, and the diffusion after the Japanese culture and so on. So that's why I can lecture the core courses. And the student had to do, the purpose is the student is um, going to study a basic knowledge about like uh, ideas studied through the, like the different uh, core courses. And, and so that's why I got a part of that uh, um, the ideas. Then and apply courses like the management organizations and student have to take like probably, I think it's, uh, it, it, it's like a one credit hours out of the 14 credits. So student can choose it and which one they're going to choose. This is a kind of one part of the applied courses. And the associate courses is like a two credit. Now, so far, it's like a, actually, it, it's not really required this stuff too. So student can choose it and then for that uh, uh, lecture, the associate courses. Our program is like a, our uh, program of the study is like really reviewed by um, that are faculty members every year. And then also like looking at the, like, uh, we modify the curriculum changes based on, on the, like the student needs. So like uh, that's uh, uh, on our program to studies. And then so um, I put it in the information. So actually, and then this is like an on off campus seminar. Uh, we have that we, uh, we work with the Japan's Sports Council. So, like a Japan Sports Council is also offered a seminar and a project and then at, uh, on, on site. And then also, like the seminars, like universities and abroad international conference seminar, uh, students who present it as a, a, a lead presenters at the international conference, that's considered as a one to the also. Um, and then also like the NGOs, the activity, the non, I mean, non, um, it, it's a non-governmental sort of organization type of activities as a one credit hours. So we take that, students have to take a two credit from here. Um, actually it's the, um, that are from the 2013, and I put it into like a different types of the activities of the IDS program that are conducted at the University of Tsukuba and in the National Sports and Fitness in the country. So like our program, joint master program that are organized like for the keynotes and main speakers every year. So one of the challenge, one of that, what we have done is like we have like, a, we are a governmental funded agency, uh, institution. So like a, one of that uh, Tsukuba conference, like we have that, um, we have that global uh, conference and stuff to and then at the University of Tsukuba every year. Um, so like we invite like a lot of the guest, speak, uh, guest speakers and then and all that we organize it and stuff. And every year, and we have, we change like the different, we decide the theme of that uh, uh, conference speakers, uh, conference speech. So like we have that like, uh, uh, we could bring that like, uh, different types of expertise and stuff too. 
recently, what we did in the, for the uh, 2021, we did the two conferences. Uh, actually, the Ohio State University is like a, um, Ohio State University and the University of Tsukuba has like a um, uh, agreement. Actually, it's in one of that, uh, 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 this uh, conference speaker, the Brian, uh, Dr. Brian Turner is in Ohio State to join to like a 2021 Scuba Global Science Week on February 12th as the speakers as well. So like uh, we kind of really collaborating with like the global aspects and stuff to, to try to get like a, a lot of faculty member from the overseas. And uh, then also like uh, this one, like at a Scuba conference for the younger age faculty members like at a, um, around like at a, between like at a age 35 to the 45 years old. And then that's why I could a part of that uh, on a, um, part of the requirement and then for the guest speakers. And we invited to for the five people. And it's for from that uh, Dr. Ali Bryant in the University of South Carolina. Uh, Amaury Samarato Rivera State of the New York, uh, University of the New York at the Brockport. And also like an to that and from the West Virginia University, Carla Lugueri from the Victoria University of Australia. And in a Hiroka Matsuo from the University of Tsukuba. So we did all that stuff. Um, we also have that like, I wanted to introduce like a list of that are on the job practicing the internship contents. So actually, and we, these are like a, our uh, former students, alumni, and they participated in the for that, uh, uh, that a job in the practice and the internship. Uh, there's like our students spread out that all over the place in the, around the world. Uh, Myanmar, the Cambodia, Germany, Monaco, UK, and Fiji and Thailand and all that stuff. So I included that all that are role and the responsibility and the content is uh, for the, as you can see. Um, so like um, they assisted a lot of the physical activity project and all that. So like uh, that that's that um, that helps. So one of that I, from there, and actually one of our former students is a currently she is at a U Huruta. It's like a, one of that our PhD students at the University of Tsukuba. And she, her focus is like a, a academic field is like a physical education teacher education. And then, but she did, she traveled to the, like, uh, um, to the Australia and participated in the um, University of the, uh, um, New South Wales in Australia. And then so he, she participated to like a Hoopo United. And then so um, she helped with the, like, uh, um, um, she helped with the refugee children and in the um, peace through sports program. And then um, actually, unfortunately, and I don't have a time to, there is the videos and stuff too, but I actually, we have that, uh, um, you know, um, 25 minutes of that are really short versions of the presentations. I apologize not to be able to show, but um, but that's like it for, um, she did the um, uh, outstanding, she spent about like a four months and then to study about it or her um, um, in a internship with helping the kids and all that, um, with the peace through sports, peace development, and peace through sports. So that that's what the, um, she did it for that uh, um, in, in her uh, OJP internship. Change that. Uh, one of that uh, I wanted to introduce about like uh, a publication piece, and then so like uh, one of that uh, uh, IDS related to publication area. Um, I, I'm the physical education faculty members, and then also like I do about like the health education research publication, uh, written in all written in English. Um, but that's like the for that we have the graded uh, publication records and uh, uh, scholarly activity for the faculty member. Um, probably we published about like maybe like the ten publication and to all together in, in, in a per, more than 10 publications per year. And so like our faculty members, not only myself, it's a, well, um, but uh, other faculty members really actively do that. Um, I'm, Shinji Nagata and then Fujigami, it's like the, um, the two things that I wanted to introduce today about their research today. Um, but we have to also like a, a Dr. Um, Matsumoto is like, a, so the coaching, uh, uh, coaching publication. We also have like uh, for the IDS 
uh, head of promotion research publications, also like an uh, English medium program um, publication as well, uh, because it's a, our uh, sports and sport development is a, such a unique opportunity. So like uh, this, we put into the, all that information. Um, Shinji Nagata is like a, for uh, she, he received it for the PhD in the leisure behavior in the Indiana University Bloomington. And then um, she, he has like a, a therapeutic recreation uh, specialist. He does like a lot of the community practice, uh, disability sports. Uh, he, he talks about like the mental health people who are suffering from the mental health issues. Um, he also like to teach like the disability sports courses, training courses at the University of Tsukuba. And uh, he, he also is like a recreational specialist. And then so like uh, um, just like you know um, creating a lot of the different uh, different directions of the research uh, for that um, adapted physical activity area. So like it's very very interesting person to work with. It. And then I'm very very on. Uh, I'm very I'm personally pleased that uh, I'm um, to work with him. Uh, we also have like a researcher, the doctor that Maho Fujigami. Um, actually, recently her publications is like uh, for uh, uh, he, um, coming coming out and from like um, probably next month at the, like a college student journal. And she does like a lot of the host reading type of the research, and then so like animal therapy host reading. And then currently she's working with like a, a Japanese college student learning experiences during the host reading uh, practice. Uh, that it's not only, you know, um, when you have to like horseback riding and then um, the purpose of that uh, with the horse, you have to ride the horses, but it's not only the all about that. Sometimes you have, you have to read the horses and then try to change like human behaviors. So this is kind of, you know, her re recent research is like a kind of really great uh, focus in addition to that uh, uh, international development peace through sports program. And I'm very, very uh, fortunate to work with her. And then, um, you know, I enjoyed to looking at her data, uh, data set. And then, so it was kind of you know, quite exciting. This is a quite exciting moment on my, it's, uh, for the data activities and research activities. Um, and lastly, and then I wanted to focus on to the tuition cost and afford that uh, a cost of the living in the University of Tsukuba. And if you're really willing to attend it, actually tuition is a little cheap. And then compared to the other international the universities. And then so because of the, our program is like a government funded, so like trying to trying to, try to keep the uh, saving them, save the money for this, it, it's, you know, affordable amount of that uh, in the tuitions so for the students so like uh, these are like uh, uh, campus information so also uh, campus of a single room is uh, also really cheap so um, it's, if you're really willing to it uh, if you really um, you know some attended to the universities if you know that about the, your student in like uh, you know um, your uh, at your university undergraduate students uh, if they were really willing to study about the International Development Peace Research Sports Program, please um, send me that uh, you know, information and I'm actively you know, providing the report of like a tuition cost and um, also like an academic entrance exam information as well. And also like uh, I put like the National Institute of Fitness, Sports and Kanaya. So we have the dual program. Um, so we have, uh, they also accepted students as well. So like uh, it's uh, because of the, we're in a national university, tuition fee is like almost the same. Uh, Off-campus housing is like a little bit, uh, very, a little bit different. And then, but um, this is kind of located to Kagoshima as well. Um, please feel free to contact me anytime. And uh, I put it to the, like this uh, email address. I checked it like, uh, um, I, I stick with the email every day. So uh, if you have that any, uh, questions, please let me know. Okay. Um, please, I today's like I kind of need to wrap it up today, uh, quickly about like my guest speaker to the um, presentation today. But uh, I hope that uh, our information is a little helpful. Um, I hope that uh, one day and then I, I will meet you and then at the uh, University of Tsukuba or in the National Fitness and Sports in the Kanoya. So today, I thank you so much. I, I, again, I thank you so much in the International Organization of Health and Sports Kinesiology and the virtual conf conference and allow me to 
uh, give me the chance to present it as a guest speaker session. Thank you.